A cordial greeting. Today is Thursday, July 4th, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it is 6 in the morning local time in the Yucatan Peninsula, where Hurricane Barrel will be arriving tonight, Thursday, and moving over the region throughout Friday. It is important for the states of Quintana Roo, Yucatan, Campeche, Tamaulipas, and Texas to be very attentive to the evolution of Hurricane Barrel as it is heading toward this area. Currently, Hurricane Barrel is over the Cayman Islands, still a major hurricane, but it has begun a rapid weakening process. It is currently a Category 3 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour or 195 kilometers per hour. If we zoom in on the infrared satellite image, we can see the circulation of Hurricane Barrel, which today appears less organized compared to yesterday when it was affecting Jamaica. This weakening process is due to strong shear winds affecting the circulation from the west-southwest, and dry air seems to be entering the circulation. These two factors will cause it to continue weakening as it approaches the Yucatan Peninsula. Currently, the center of circulation is located just south of Grand Cayman Island, as we can see in the Doppler radar animation where the eye is currently situated south of Grand Cayman. It seems that the Category 3 hurricane winds will remain south of the island, which is good news, although hurricane force winds should still be affecting the island at this time, and weather conditions will continue to deteriorate throughout the morning. Here you can see the extent of hurricane and tropical storm winds. In red is the extent of hurricane force winds, which should soon reach Grand Cayman. However, notice how the most intense Category 3 winds would remain south of the island. We have good consensus on the cyclone's trajectory. It is expected to arrive during the night of Thursday or early Friday in Quintana Roo, then cross the Yucatan Peninsula and eventually reach the Gulf of Mexico. From there, it is expected to take a more northwesterly path, eventually arriving in northern Tamaulipas and southern Texas early next week. There is much confidence in this trajectory forecast, especially as different model members show that this area has the highest probability of direct impact from Hurricane Barrel. The intensity forecast also has much consensus among models, projecting it to continue weakening rapidly over the next 48 hours. Reaching the Yucatan Peninsula as a Category 1 hurricane and exiting over the Gulf of Mexico as a tropical storm. Once over the Gulf of Mexico, it is projected to gradually strengthen until it reaches Tamaulipas and southern Texas as either a strong tropical storm or a Category 1 hurricane. Let's look at the official trajectory from the National Hurricane Center. First, notice in red that a hurricane warning is maintained for Quintana Roo, and a tropical storm warning has been issued for the entire state of Yucatan, including the city of Merida. A tropical storm warning has also been issued for northern Campeche, including the city of Campeche. With this trajectory, the center is expected to enter just south of Tulum, and the strongest hurricane winds should affect Cozumel and central and northern Quintana Roo. Remember, the strongest part of these cyclones is the north and northeast quadrant which will be moving over Tulum and Playa del Carmen. As it maintains this trajectory over Yucatan, the strongest part will also be over the city of Merida. In terms of local effects, see the wind gust projection according to the GFS model. The strongest winds will be felt in Playa del Carmen and Tulum, with some gusts up to 120 km per hour. Tropical storm force winds, indicated by orange colors, may begin to affect Quintana Roo during the night of Thursday. As it crosses over the Yucatan Peninsula, it should weaken into a tropical storm, but tropical storm force wind gusts should affect the entire state of Yucatan and northern Campeche. So we are talking about hurricane force winds from Tulum to Playa del Carmen and tropical storm conditions for areas like Cancun, all of Yucatan, and the city of Campeche. This cyclone will be crossing the area basically throughout the morning of Friday, moving into the Gulf of Mexico by Friday night. Also, expect a significant amount of rain, particularly over cities like Merida, Tulum, and Valladolid where projections estimate between 75 to 100 mm of rain according to the GFS model. However, it could rain more heavily, as the European model projects between 150 to 200 mm affecting this region. So, prepare for a heavy rain event that could cause significant flooding across central and northern Quintana Roo, central and southern Yucatan, and northern Campeche. Now, let's look at the medium-term forecast, specifically for Tamaulipas and Texas. But first, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Go to the bottom of the video, click the red subscribe button, and then click the bell to receive notifications when I record new videos. Under this special coverage, I will continue recording at least two videos a day, one in the morning and one in the afternoon or evening. Here is the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center. In the early hours of Saturday, the center of what is projected to be Tropical Storm Barrel will enter the Gulf of Mexico, where it should gradually begin to reorganize and strengthen until it eventually reaches northern Tamaulipas or southern Texas as a Category 1 hurricane, with maximum sustained winds of 75 miles per hour during the night of Sunday and Monday morning. As it moves over land, it should begin a rapid weakening process, 
but heavy downpours are expected over eastern Texas, with rainfall accumulations exceeding 6 inches. So, stay tuned for upcoming updates on rainfall and wind projections for northern Tamaulipas and southern and eastern Texas. Let's look at the global model's projections. Here we have the GFS model, which maintains the gradual northwesterly movement over the weekend until eventually, on Sunday night or Monday morning, entering southern Texas as a Category 1 hurricane. Additionally, the European model agrees with this trajectory, projecting the center of circulation over northern Tamaulipas as a Category 1 hurricane during the early morning or morning hours of Monday. Under this scenario, here are the wind gust projections according to the GFS model. With a trajectory over northern Tamaulipas and southern Texas, some hurricane force winds may affect northern Tamaulipas and southern Texas with gusts up to 75 to 80 miles per hour during Sunday night and Monday morning. Tropical storm force winds may also affect other areas like Corpus Christi and San Antonio. So, stay very attentive over the next few days to new projections. Given that this will be a Category 1 hurricane, the wind is not expected to cause significant damage, but heavy rainfall is a concern. For example, GFS model projections show that Texas could receive between 8 to 10 inches of rain, mainly in the eastern and southern regions of the state. This includes cities like Austin, San Antonio, Houston, Corpus Christi, and Brownsville. Additionally, over 200 millimeters of rain could fall in northern Tamaulipas, including San Fernando and Matamoros, between Tuesday and Wednesday. The instability and rainfall from this cyclone should eventually move northeast, affecting northeastern Texas and southern Missouri. So, stay alert to the potential for flooding in these states. Well, that's all for the forecast update this morning. Stay tuned to the National Hurricane Center bulletins, especially our followers in the Yucatan Peninsula region. I will record a new video in the afternoon or early evening to update the forecast.